Hey folks, I'm Sir Charles Carey, National Trainer, Speaker, and Author, and today I want to talk to you about getting your message out there. Now, it doesn't really matter what type of an entrepreneur you are, whether you have a traditional store business, a storefront, mom and pop shop, you're a speaker, trainer, author like myself, regardless of what type of business or what type of an entrepreneur you are, you must get your message out there. So I want to share a couple of ways for you to get your message out to the general public so that people can know who you are. You know, besides having pretty marketing materials and nice flashy colors and business cards, there are lots of other ways of getting your message out there. Video, like the video I'm doing today. Sharing what you do or sharing some tips about what you do. That's an excellent opportunity and platform to share with the general public why you're so valuable, how you're different than other people, or what your specialty is. Number two, you may even want to consider doing interviews, traditional and non-traditional interviews. Why? Because people look at interviews, people like interviews, they aren't very long and cumbersome, but at the same time, people may hear certain things, certain sound bites that appeal to them. So if you're doing interviews on traditional radio, traditional television, internet radio or internet television, it's an excellent way of reaching so many different people. Number three, <laughs> how about using blogs? What do you write about? You can do a blog on your area of expertise. You know, think about it, you're writing these blogs, you're sharing information, valuable insight to what makes your business important, what makes your industry significant, or your profession significant. That's an excellent source of sharing and getting your message out there. How about number four, or the next one? I'm losing track now. Writing a book. Why don't you write a book about what's so special about what you do, or what's so special about your area of focus? or how your area of focus serves other people. How about doing events whereas you're focused on your industry, your area of expertise, your profession, and the entire event is focused on that. You know, either it's you by yourself, or you with other people that do the exact same thing, or you with other people that do, do different parts of what you're doing. For example, if you are doing an event or at an event that focuses on promotions, well, what do you think or who do you think would be at that event? You may have photographers, you may have videographers, you may have uh, bloggers, you may have magazines, you may have TV people, you may have reporters. All that helps with the art of promoting and or marketing as well. So you want to look at the different ways of getting your message out there. You can also, this is next, you can also get your message out there by speaking at other people's events or by being on the platform for other people. Mm, that way you can just simply tell people what you're doing, what's so significant about it, and why you're doing it. And as I always say, Radiate the brain and change the game.